So again you can uh, again also you can use some name like Shiva and 5000 some other values but it will be updated with remember it will be updated with ID. Now click on update again it will come to your code window here just click on F10 to debug that application it has come to your service so the values which you have given here are coming as Srinu Shiva and uh, executed so it has been updated now uh, message is coming as record updated just go here to the SQL server table should come the updated value it should come here so it is coming to you and uh, That's it. Not a problem. Till it has been updated here. So your work service is working fine. For you, the service should be working fine. It's not a problem. Actually, we have seen the updation, updation of the record. And uh, let's check it. This is your, uh, this is, uh, this is what we have written the insert update and delete records uh, in your web service there are three methods actually insert update and delete insert update and delete and uh, insert update and delete we have seen these operations we have seen these operations by checking the web service like in, by clicking on the invoke button we have checked the operations whether they are working fine or not these methods delete record insert record and update record okay and in the client application we have taken Again, three. We have to write. We, we have to write the front end code so that the in, to invoke these methods. What we have done is we have created the client proxy here. If you check here, so we have created the client proxy here. Client proxy has been created here, and uh, with the help of this client proxy, and we have given a uh, how we created the client proxy is like this. This is our application client application name dot. Uh, web service name dot and in that service class is there and obj is the reference name and is equal to new test class this is your service name dot your application name cls employee one is your uh, uh, web service name dot and again your service in, service file in that uh, this is the class file which is containing all the methods so you are invoking those methods using this obj in the front end code int x equal to obj dot insert record convert dot to into the two you are converting all these values record inserted record updated and record delete we have checked all these three records using this uh, front end application we are invoking we are invoking the application using this front end okay and so we have designed a front end also this what we have done is we have designed a sp.net web application to create a front end to test my web service or to consume my web service so third task has been completed what has been completed Consume the web service by uh, by creating the proxy. Uh, cre consume the web service by creating a proxy. It's actually creating the proxy. Consume the web service by creating the proxy. So proxy has been created in the client application. The client application might be anything as I told you. It might be either ja .NET or Java or PHP or Ruby on Rails or any web technology which design the web applications. So what we have done is we have designed this URL and we have designed this URL and just we, gi we gave it to the client application now I have designed a ASP.NET web application just I have designed my proxy using this web service okay using this web service URL I have designed my proxy in the client application in the ASP.NET web application here this is my ASP.NET web application as I told you how you create the instance for this proxy I have created the proxy solution explorer by right click on project name add service reference click on again add web reference and there you need to paste that uh, url which you copied in the notepad this url you need to paste that and click on go button you will find one service found like that one message will be displayed on the right hand side change the localhost name to cls employee one any name you can give according to your requirement i have just keep put it as cls employee one here and now i have created the uh, reference for this and obj is my uh, variable variable name that is the reference name uh, the instance in, i am creating the instance for the proxy nothing but this instance is used to invoke all these methods insert record update record delete record what are the three methods which are written in the web service what is doing uh, what this uh, method is doing is 
what this front end is doing is when we invoke this proxy these methods will go directly to this web service to this web service and these methods are getting fired insert record is when we click on insert button the proxy is invoking these methods actually from the web service these methods are getting fired insert record and update record and delete record and also it is been updating to the database so so if you see the create read update and delete methods here we have designed an application using client we have designed an application using asp.net web application we have designed an asp.net web application here in the client what we are designed is a web service web service template by using asp.net web service template we have designed a web service and this url we have designed here this url http whatever the url is http like that in our application it is local host cls employee 1 is my project name and in that service dot asmx question mark some double us dl that is web service description language this will be describing the whole url and this url is global and i have and i have given it to the asp.net web application to create a proxy to create this proxy i have given this url there and proxy is been created and proxy after generation of the proxy what it is doing is it is going and firing all the methods which i have written i have written three methods here insert record delete record and update record it is firing all these three methods this proxy which is been designed in the client application which is the, which is generated in the client application this proxy is firing all these methods insert record delete record and update record after this this proxy is going to the and also the result is been updated to the database as http request the result is going as http request and response is coming back to the web server that is and this web server through parsing it is converting all the response which is coming from the sql server database to iis and uh, to the admin to the local web server and again through the help of parsing it is been given to the client browser here this is the client application this is a client browser like this and in the client browser we are able to see the result here so this is the entire process by using create read update and delete operations read means just find we can uh, if you just put a button like this it's find nothing but find we have seen create read update delete operations actually create update and delete operations we have seen read operation means it's just a find button find means uh, if you want to find a record have you employee id like if you click on 7 and just click on submit here you need to put a submit button there i didn't design in my user interface but if you put on submit and uh, you'll get a remaining details whatever the name is and whatever the salary is and whatever the designation is just if you click on submit you'll get all the details relevant details here that is called as find button and nothing but read operation we have discussed only these three operations create update and delete operations okay so this is the basic hierarchy how we will design the web service uh, this is the basic hierarchy what we have done is i'll i'll repeat it again we have designed a web service first that means first step is creation of the web service we have created a web service by writing three methods insert record uh, delete record and update record these were the three methods which which we have written in the web service and we have released it globally by this url that means we have released over the internet by using ftp if we released it we can uh, we can deploy that application in the remote server ias means it will be deployed in my local machine and local system local system means my local folder the uh, this url will be deployed in my local system so if you release in ftp it will it will be released in the this url will be released in this url can be released over the internet through the help of the server ias means in my local machine to test just our web services 
or else any web applications microsoft has introduced this iis and uh, in local system means the any local folder local folder like d uh, folder like in that folder it will be say this uh, this web service will be saving so what i have designed is i designed a web service with three methods insert delete and update and what i have done afterwards i have done a client application which will talk to the sql server database and also to the web service in that proxy will be generated proxy means it's uh, nothing but it will directly invoke the methods all the uh, whatever the proxy will be generated in the client itself but it will be uh, invoking all the methods like insert delete and update records it will be invoking all these records and it will communicate with the database and get the response also the response will be coming like this it is nothing but http response whichever the response is coming it is called as http response and it will be handing load to the client okay that's it so this is called as web services which we have seen and in later sessions we will see what is wcf windows communication foundation nothing but windows communication foundation so this is all about web services in wcf we will see what is wcf when what is it introduced in the later sessions while we discuss wcf uh, it is nothing but the enhancement of the web services uh, introduced by microsoft in the year 2007 it has been released actually WCF was released in the year 2007. We will see while we will discuss WCF. And in web services mainly, one important point is, I forgot to tell you actually, in this web services, if you create properties, even though if you create properties file, properties file, this thing I missed. Properties file means, uh, if you create a property file like .cs file, uh, that will be used only within the web service it will not be this it will not be helpful to carry out of the web service so within the web service if you design a web service like using uh, some public service system dot web dot service dot web services this is the web service name and if you create some properties file here that properties file will be able to use uh, able to be used only in this web service folder it can't be used outside the web service so you let us assume some methods are there like web method here and some class files are there public class like uh, some class files and uh, properties also a file this properties file the dot cs file nothing but dot cs file this will be used within the web service but in wcf not like that wcf I will discuss detail what the properties does in WCF. In this, this properties file will be generated in, this, uh, in the web, web service folder only. In the web service file only this properties file will be generated but it can't be used outside the web service. We, within the web service means you can use this properties file. Uh, what, are the web, uh, what are the files will be web service containing one is data types. I told you data types. The web service will be having all these methods and also properties. So even though you create properties in the dot .cs files, we'll, uh, we'll discuss it in C sharp what, is, what it is. So properties is nothing but a C sharp file which is uh, created along with these data types and methods. But if we, even though if we create properties file, it will be used only in the web service. Uh, only in the web service we can use this properties file. Uh, so we can't create the properties file in the web service even though we create the properties it will be used only in the web service but it can't be used globally uh, but no, it is not in the case of wcf we need to definitely create a properties file in the wcf i will explain you the difference there while i while i will write a wcf service i will tell you the difference what uh, why we are creating a properties file actually in wcf we will create the properties file to carry the values from data types it will help you to carry the values from data data, data types while uh, I am creating the WCF service, I will tell you. In the later sessions, we will see the WCF files. Mainly, this is if, if this is an interview question actually. They will ask you whether we can create properties in WCF web services or not. Definitely, we can create, but we uh, but these properties can be used only along with the web service. These properties can be used only along with the web service. It can't be used along with the client application. So. We will discuss it along with the WCF in the next sessions. That's all about today. So today we have seen.
how to uh, do how to work with the database using web server we, i have done some uh, insert update and delete operations and showed to you uh, next sessions we will see detailly how to work with wcf that's all about web services in later sessions we will work with the wcf